Well, imagine this, flying from Tampa to China, Australia, or anywhere else in less than an hour. <laughs> what do you got? What's going on? Well, I mean, the exciting thing to do would be some sort of electric vertical takeoff and landing, supersonic jet or something. Vertical takeoff and landing being no need for a runway. Just shoot up, straight yeah. in the air, and then... Welcome, everyone. Imagine a future where air travel no longer takes hours or even days, but mere minutes. Picture yourself boarding a jet in New York and stepping out in Tokyo before you've even finished a full-length movie. Now imagine a jet so advanced, it not only shatters speed records but also redefines what we think is possible in aviation. This isn't just science fiction, it's the bold vision of Elon Musk. In today's discussion, we'll explore how Musk is working to create the world's fastest hypersonic jet a machine that could one day challenge the laws of physics. We'll uncover how his team plans to overcome challenges like heat, fuel efficiency, and safety, and we'll see if Musk's hypersonic jet could be the next step toward light speed travel. Stick around because the story of this groundbreaking innovation is just getting started. The concept why hypersonic jets. Elon Musk is no stranger to ambitious projects. From Tesla's electric vehicles revolutionizing transportation to SpaceX aiming to colonize Mars, he consistently pushes the boundaries of what humanity can achieve. But why hypersonic jets? What makes this project stand out among his many pursuits? At its core, the idea of hypersonic travel is about solving one of humanity's oldest frustrations time. Despite decades of advancements in aviation, air travel is still relatively slow. A flight from New York to Sydney takes around 20 hours, not counting layovers and airport wait times. Hypersonic jets aim to cut that time to under two hours, transforming global travel forever. Musk's vision isn't just about speed, it's about creating a mode of transportation that's faster, greener, and more efficient than anything we've seen before. He sees hypersonic jets as the logical next step in human mobility, a bridge between today's conventional airliners and tomorrow's interplanetary rockets. To understand Musk's ambitious plans, let's first define hypersonic travel. In aviation, speeds are measured in Mach numbers, which represent the ratio of an object's speed to the speed of sound. For reference, Subsonic speeds are below Mach 1 the speed of sound. Supersonic speeds range from Mach 1 to Mach 5. Hypersonic speeds begin at Mach 5 five times the speed of sound, or roughly 3,800 miles per hour. For comparison, the Concorde, one of the fastest commercial jets ever built, operated at Mach 2.04. Musk's hypersonic jet aims to go beyond Mach 5 and possibly even reach Mach 10, or over 7,600 miles per hour. At such speeds, traveling between continents could become as routine as catching a train. But hypersonic speeds come with immense challenges. The faster you go, the more air resistance and heat the aircraft generates, requiring groundbreaking solutions in engineering and material science. In essence, Musk's vision for a hypersonic jet isn't just a wild idea. It's a hypersonic jets aren't just faster versions of existing planes. They're a completely new category of aircraft requiring revolutionary approaches to propulsion, aerodynamics, and thermal management. Let's break down the science behind them. Traditional jet engines are inefficient at hypersonic speeds. Instead, Musk's design might rely on a rocket-based combined cycle RBCC engine. This type of engine can operate as a traditional jet engine at lower speeds and transition to rocket propulsion as the jet accelerates. By using this hybrid approach, the jet could achieve hypersonic speeds without sacrificing fuel efficiency. At Mach 5 or higher, the shape of the aircraft plays a critical role in reducing drag and minimizing heat buildup. Musk's engineers would likely borrow from SpaceX's Starship designs, optimizing the jet's shape for high-speed travel while maintaining stability and control. One of the biggest challenges in hypersonic travel is dealing with aerodynamic heating. As the aircraft slices through the atmosphere, it generates immense friction, causing temperatures to soar beyond 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. To counter this, Musk's team could use advanced materials like carbon composites or ceramic coatings, similar to those used in SpaceX rockets. Musk's hypersonic jet won't just be fast, it will also aim to be environmentally friendly. By incorporating sustainable fuels or hydrogen-based propulsion, the jet could drastically reduce its carbon footprint. This focus on sustainability aligns with Musk's broader mission of creating technologies that benefit humanity in the long term. A vision rooted in possibility. Why is Musk's hypersonic jet more than just a pipe dream? Because he's already tackling similar challenges in other fields. SpaceX's reusable rockets regularly endure the extreme heat and forces of atmospheric re-entry, proving that materials and engineering solutions exist for hypersonic conditions. 
Meanwhile, Tesla's advancements in AI and battery technology demonstrate Musk's ability to innovate in entirely new directions, the natural evolution of his work in aerospace and transportation. By combining SpaceX's experience with high-speed travel and Tesla's expertise in automation and sustainability, he could make hypersonic jets a reality within our lifetime. Breaking Barriers Challenges in Hypersonic Travel While Elon Musk's hypersonic jet sounds like an exciting breakthrough, the path to making this a reality is filled with daunting challenges. Let's take a closer look at these barriers and how Musk's team may overcome them to push the limits of aviation. One of the biggest challenges facing hypersonic travel is the extreme heat generated when an aircraft moves at speeds greater than Mach 5. As the jet travels faster, the air in front of it compresses, creating a buildup of friction and intense heat. This effect is amplified at hypersonic speeds with temperatures exceeding 2, 0, 0, 0, 0, DEF 1, 100 day GC far hotter than conventional materials can handle. SpaceX's experience with thermal protection systems for re-entry vehicles, such as the Dragon capsule and the Starship, is invaluable in this regard. These spacecraft are designed to withstand the intense heat generated during re-entry into Earth's atmosphere, and similar technology could be adapted for Musk's hypersonic jet. Engineers are also exploring active cooling systems, which involve circulating coolant around key components to dissipate heat before it damages the aircraft fuel efficiency and energy demands to achieve the speeds Musk envisions, a hypersonic jet will require an enormous amount of energy. Traditional jet engines simply cannot provide enough thrust to sustain speeds above Mach 5, so a new form of propulsion is needed. One solution could be scramjet engines, which operate efficiently at hypersonic speeds. Scramjets are designed to take in atmospheric oxygen, mix it with fuel, and burn the mixture to produce thrust. These engines work best at altitudes where the air is thin but still contains enough oxygen to support combustion. However, the engineering required to build an efficient scramjet engine that can handle the heat and pressure generated at hypersonic speeds is still a work in progress. Musk is likely to explore hydrogen as a fuel source, as it burns cleanly and has a higher energy density compared to traditional jet fuels. However, hydrogen fuel requires significant modifications to the aircraft's design as it must be stored at very low temperatures. Moreover, the production, storage, and transport of liquid hydrogen would present logistical and economic hurdles. Nonetheless, hydrogen could become a key component of the hypersonic jet's propulsion system if the necessary infrastructure is developed. Another significant challenge is the sonic boom the shockwave created when an aircraft breaks the sound barrier. While supersonic jets like the Concorde produce sonic booms that were loud enough to rattle windows and cause disturbances on the ground, hypersonic jets will generate even more intense sound waves. These booms could pose a serious problem, especially if Musk's jets are intended for commercial use over populated areas. To address this issue, engineers are exploring ways to minimize the impact of sonic booms by designing aircraft with shapes that help disperse shockwaves more evenly. For example, blunt nose designs or triangular shapes could reduce the intensity of the boom. Additionally, the jet could fly at higher altitudes, where the sound waves would dissipate before reaching the ground. Still, the noise pollution caused by such speeds would be a major challenge, and new regulations may be needed to allow hypersonic travel over land. Safety and reliability in hypersonic flight. At such extreme speeds, safety becomes a critical concern. Even the smallest mechanical failure or deviation in flight could lead to disastrous consequences. To ensure that Musk's hypersonic jets are as safe as possible, his team will have to implement cutting edge redundancy systems. These systems would allow the jet to continue functioning smoothly even if one component fails. Advanced AI could be integrated into the aircraft to monitor its performance in real time, constantly analyzing factors like engine performance, aerodynamic stability, and temperature. The AI could predict potential issues before they occur, enabling the jet's automated systems to take corrective actions before the situation escalates. This would provide an added layer of security, ensuring that hypersonic travel is as safe as possible. Additionally, the human element remains crucial. While AI might handle the majority of the flight, pilots at least initially would still be involved in overseeing the operation of the aircraft. Developing a new generation of pilots trained to manage hypersonic jets will be a key part of the transition. As hypersonic jets become a reality, air traffic control systems will need to adapt. Current systems are designed for planes that fly at subsonic and supersonic speeds. Hypersonic jets, however, will require new protocols to manage traffic at these extreme speeds and altitudes. This would mean updating global aviation regulations, implementing new airspace management techniques, and ensuring that hypersonic jets don't collide with slower aircraft. 
Regulatory bodies like the FAA Federal Aviation Administration and the ICAO International Civil Aviation Organization would need to collaborate to develop new standards. The introduction of hypersonic air travel could lead to the creation of entirely new air lanes potentially above the typical commercial flight paths. While this is an exciting prospect, it presents another layer of complexity in the journey to make hypersonic jets a reality. Physics vs. Vision. Can we really approach the speed of light? One of the most exciting and ambitious aspects of Elon Musk's hypersonic jet concept is the idea of reaching speeds that approach the speed of light. Now, the concept of light speed travel is still very much in the realm of theoretical physics. According to Albert Einstein's theory of relativity, as objects approach the speed of light, their mass increases and the energy required to continue accelerating them increases exponentially. So, what Musk is attempting pushing technological limits to the edge of the impossible appears to defy the fundamental laws of physics. But in typical Musk fashion, he's not shying away from these challenges. The speed of light, around 186,000 miles per second, is the ultimate speed limit in the universe according to Einstein's relativity. This means that nothing with mass can reach this speed because the energy required to accelerate an object increases as it approaches the speed of light. Therefore, achieving light speed travel would require technologies that fundamentally change how we approach physics. At present, no technology can reach anything near the speed of light. The fastest spacecraft ever built by humans, NASA's Parker Solar Probe, can travel at over 430,000 miles per hour a tiny fraction of the speed of light. Even with hyper-advanced propulsion methods such as ion engines or fusion-based reactors, which promise to push spacecraft to far higher speeds, the speed of light still seems far out of reach. However, this hasn't deterred Musk, who has a history of turning theoretical concepts into working technology. He's known for exploring unconventional ideas like SpaceX's reusable rockets or Tesla's electric cars that many once thought were impossible. Musk's vision of hypersonic travel at near light speeds builds on that same spirit of innovation and challenges the boundaries of what is thought to be achievable in the near future. While the goal of achieving light speed travel might seem distant, Musk's pursuit of hypersonic speeds is still incredibly ambitious and scientifically intriguing. Hypersonic speeds are defined as speeds greater than Mach 5 or around 3,800 miles per hour, and Musk's designs are thought to be capable of speeds that might exceed Mach 10 or even approach Mach 20. But can we realistically achieve such speeds with today's technology, let alone approach light speed? The answer lies in overcoming the significant obstacles associated with extreme speed. Let's break down the science and challenges that must be faced. Hypersonic jets, especially those pushing beyond Mach 5, require immense amounts of energy to maintain such speeds. Conventional engines like jet turbines, or even rocket engines, might not suffice. Musk's plan likely involves scramjet technology, which uses the vehicle's own speed to compress incoming air and ignite fuel, providing propulsion without the need for massive onboard fuel supplies. However, even with this technology, the energy required to sustain hypersonic speeds for long distances is a major barrier. One of the most significant hurdles for hypersonic travel is the phenomenon known as aerodynamic heating. At speeds exceeding Mach 5, air friction causes extreme heat, which can raise the temperature of the aircraft's surface to over 2, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, DEF 1, 100 DC. Traditional materials would melt or disintegrate under such conditions. That's where SpaceX's advanced materials like carbon composites, ceramics, and heat-resistant alloys could be crucial. These materials are designed to withstand the intense heat generated during re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. They could also be adapted to handle the harsh conditions of hypersonic travel, enabling Musk's aircraft to resist heat damage. Another challenge is dealing with air resistance, which increases at higher speeds. As air molecules interact with the aircraft, they create drag, which hinders acceleration and fuel efficiency. At hypersonic speeds, these forces become more pronounced. Musk's engineers are likely exploring designs that minimize drag such as streamlined shapes, shockwave manipulation, and innovative propulsion systems that could allow the jet to cut through the atmosphere more efficiently. Air turbulence is another issue that becomes more complex at hypersonic speeds. High-speed jets would face more intense turbulent air currents that could potentially throw off their flight path or cause unstable conditions for passengers. Engineers would need to design systems that could adjust the aircraft's trajectory in real time to maintain stability, much like SpaceX's autonomous landing technology that ensures rockets land safely under extreme conditions. A similar approach could be applied to keep a hypersonic jet stable during flight. While approaching the speed of light may not be a practical goal for the near future, 
Musk's work on hypersonic jets could lay the groundwork for technologies that push the envelope of human speed. Overcoming obstacles related to propulsion, heat resistance and energy efficiency is a monumental task, but it could bring us closer to achieving incredible advances in travel. In the distant future, advancements in fields like quantum propulsion, warp drives or wormholes theoretical concepts once considered impossible might one day help humanity reach the ultimate goal of light speed travel. But for now, the reality is that achieving hypersonic speeds is already a game changer, and it's clear that Musk is prepared to push the boundaries of possibility. His innovations could form the foundation for what's to come. As we approach the possibility of hypersonic travel, a significant technological leap is the integration of artificial intelligence AI and automation. At these extreme speeds, even minor errors or delays in decision-making could result in disaster. Therefore, having a highly sophisticated AI system to manage the complex systems of the aircraft becomes essential. Elon Musk's vision for hypersonic travel goes beyond merely reaching incredible speeds, it's about redefining aviation with precision, safety, and intelligence. One of the first challenges for any aircraft reaching hypersonic speeds is navigation. At Mach 5 and beyond, the air behaves differently than at conventional speeds. The atmospheric conditions, wind speeds, and other factors can change rapidly, demanding constant real-time calculations to find the optimal flight path. AI systems would be tasked with managing this complexity, predicting air conditions, and adjusting the flight path as necessary. Unlike human pilots who might have limited reaction time or be overwhelmed by constant changes in altitude or direction, AI could make these decisions instantly. It could account for turbulence, jet streams, or even unexpected weather events like thunderstorms, ensuring the most efficient, safe, and comfortable flight route. AI could also work alongside advanced satellite data to continually adjust the aircraft's trajectory in real time, ensuring that any deviations from the planned path are immediately corrected. By automating these calculations, AI ensures that hypersonic travel will be far more efficient and adaptable compared to traditional aviation. In addition to navigation, AI will play a vital role in monitoring the aircraft's systems. Hypersonic speeds create extreme stress on an aircraft, from the heat generated by air friction to the tremendous pressure on the materials of the plane. As we saw with SpaceX's reusable rockets, the spacecraft's ability to withstand these forces is a matter of precision engineering and constant monitoring. The journey to creating a hypersonic jet that could rival the speed of light will not be easy, but Elon Musk's track record suggests that anything is possible. As we push the boundaries of technology and explore new frontiers in science and engineering, the question remains how will we adapt to a world where we can travel across the globe in mere minutes? The future of aviation isn't just about getting from point A to point B faster, it's about transforming how we experience the world. The idea of flying faster than ever before isn't a mere dream anymore, it's a tangible possibility that we're on the verge of witnessing. So what do you think? Are we ready to embrace a new age of speed and innovation? or are we still bound by the limitations of traditional travel? Let us know in the comments below, and be sure to like and subscribe for more insights into the world of cutting-edge technologies. The future of travel is unfolding, and you don't want to miss what's coming next.